no, it's not morning. Good afternoon. It's 1.40 p.m. on a Saturday. Uh, what did I want to say? Nothing. Let me let me just tell you what I've been doing. So you just saw me cut up these like laminate sheets. I use these to make my vinyl stickers and it comes in a roll like this. Um, I have a link to this. I have a page on my website. I kind of made it quietly. I didn't really talk about it anywhere, but it's called Shop My Supplies. And I pretty much have linked to like every single supply that I use, like main things I use for my business. Some of them are affiliate links and it really helps me. This laminate is like, I know people say they like the Aura Oracle, Oracle one, um, but this is one that I find very easily accessible in Australia. And it has that really buttery soft touch that I really like. It's really similar to Sticker Mule. If you've ever ordered, now my nose is blocked. I have this thing sometimes, just a slight detour. I have this thing sometimes where my nose gets blocked and then my ear gets blocked and then I can't hear or breathe out of this side of my face. It's weird, it, it's past now, but anyway. Um, oh, this is so chaotic. I <laughs> This is very accessible from Australia. It's very similar to the Sticker Mule matte uh, matte vinyl stickers and um, I might do a video on how I make my vinyl stickers I haven't made like a tutorial video in a long time mostly because I'm just not a very linear person so I struggle with like trying to talk about one thing like staying focused I, I go off track a lot so <laughs> with those kinds of videos I have to like stay focused and plan it out and follow a structure which is not very like me. I'm a little scatterbrained, but yeah, so I was cutting that entire roll because like this, this is cut and look how they roll up. And so um, I've noticed that some of my vinyl stickers do curl up just a little bit, which is not too bad. So these are the ones I made a few days ago. They're not too bad, but I think over time, I don't know if it's heat or something or just the way I'm storing them. Um, they do have like a slight curl to it. I don't know if you can see that. That one's not too bad. This one definitely I was like not, it wasn't sitting straight because it's it's too small for here. I just, I really should store the, the square ones not in here because it just won't fit. I think if it can't lay down straight, it does lead to some curling. Okay, so these are the sticky mule ones and even those have a slight curl. But again, I think because I'm not storing them properly. But here's another example. I haven't had a customer complain about them too much. I think depending on where you stick them, like if it's on paper, it has like zero issues. I think on most notebook covers, as long as it is slightly glossy, if it's too matte, it won't stick. But yeah, it's it's semi-easily like straightened out. Again, you've just got to flatten it. So anyway, my method for, I need to put this somewhere else. My method for combating that was to pre-cut. I literally just decided it right now, but to pre-cut all of these and to flatten them. Also, it saves me time later because now when I want to stock vinyl stickers, I have to grab the roll, cut off the bit that I want to use and just leave it. Just because I'm lazy and I didn't really have anywhere to put this, but I'm going to make an effort to store it properly, just like I store my other paper. Uh, so clearly it's, it's a bit curled. Wait, so I didn't explain why. <laughs> So it's curled. And so I think when you try to apply this to the sticker paper, it's not too bad because you're applying it this way. But I think when there is a natural curl in the paper, it may lead to some natural curling over time. Um, a massive tip when you are making vinyl stickers is not to press down so hard with the squeegee because I have found that that has led to some serious curling as well. So what I'm going to do is get some heavy note books, paper pads, whatever, and like squish this down so that it's nice and flat and then I can store it flat. And then when I want to use it, I just have these flat sheets, flat sheets ready to use. So I'm going to have to like try to clamp it down over time. It's, it's quite a lot. Uh, that didn't take as long as I thought, but yeah, pre-cut sheets ready. I, I have no idea how many meters that was. I want to say maybe three, maybe five. Maybe 10, who knows? I, I really don't know. I'm just guessing over here. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make the Herbie, these new Herbie stickers that I made yesterday. So I had this idea for a while and I just thought it'd be so cute. It's very simple. It's just Herbie holding like an olive TN cover, like a standard cover. Um, I have plans to get either an olive or a camel at the end of the year. 
Maddie from Hello Naya has been like helping me so much decide because she is my resident travel travelers notebook travelers company expert on my in my discord um so yeah I've just been like picking her brain over everything but I just drew Herbie holding his cover because I just thought it'd be very cute so I'm gonna print that now um, I also spent the morning, it was not on the cards, but I was just kind of suddenly itching to make it, uh, just a new text kind of snippet, sticker sheet. This one's a bit more lovey, lovey-dovey. I don't tend to do many lovey-dovey stuff because most of my stuff is self-care, but I was kind of just itching to do this. I don't know if it'll be a permanent product. In the shop but we shall see i'm just watching um journal videos as i do this i'm currently watching ellen nim's health planner video um there are some days when i i really like to watch something and work and other days where i just i don't watch anything so i'm just in a in a watching mood today um and i also still have to finish stocking these august stickers so i think i've got a few sheets left but that is the plan for today. Also, I have been putting off editing a vlog. Not intentionally. It's just like I just keep prioritizing other things because I'm trying to get everything ready for this shop of day. But I really need to also e start editing a vlog today. But first, I am going to flatten these and make those stickers. <laughs>
it's been a while since I've checked in, so I just wanted to jump on camera. Um, first of all, I needed to do my nails so that I could photograph products. Okay, wait. <laughs> so I am photographing products for the shop update. It is sunny, so like the sun is finally out, so I'm going to take some photos. Um, I usually take it on this table. Um, this table is blank, but I prefer the texture of this table a little bit more. I may get the smaller version of my table so I can put it there for photos um, and move this table into the second room. Anyway, that's that's for a different time, but I'm going to take photos here, but I hold these stickers sometimes and take a photo, so my nails need to be nice, but then I realized I don't have to paint all of my nails, so I've <laughs> taken off my nail polish and it's just like yellow stained plain nails they're really long right now um so i need to cut that as well but i realized like all you can really see is just my thumb so what i did is i i painted just my thumb it looks so stupid <laughs> but hey it's it's all i need and now i don't have to deal with wet nails i will finish painting them afterwards but i finally can i need to calm down i can finally have a shop update it's going to be the early shop update tomorrow early access shop update and then the public one will be next week because my washi tape arrived finally um i i don't think i mentioned it at all but let me let me show you the washi tape that i got so i got four different types of washi tape i got these two solid color ones which is not exactly the color i wanted and it actually looks really dark when it's like this but when you um when you kind of look at it separately you can see that it is kind of a dark brown so um yeah they're slightly different from what i wanted but they turned out okay so i'm still gonna sell them like normal um but i got these made from vo grace um they're a very popular washi tape supplier they do stickers and everything as well but these are the three new ones that i'm going to photograph my don't mind my yellow nails um and this is an update of the current vintage text one that i already have but i just made the design a little bit smaller um i can show you an example here this one is the old one and the text is a lot bigger and this is the new one and it's a lot smaller but i ordered these washi tapes on the 1st of February. It is now, what is it? The 21st of March. So it took over a month and a half. There was a week and a half break in between where they had, like the company was off for Lunar New Year, but like still, <laughs> that was such a long time compared to the past times that I've ordered from them. So that entire experience was really stressful. And then the colors not quite matching was really stressful. So I am a little bit iffy. <laughs> about VO Grace now and I feel like it, it should just be said like keep an eye out for like um the color match the previous times have been close enough uh it's been off center on the washi tapes a couple of times but that's not too bad because that the vintage frames on was always meant to be cut up um so yeah the quality control is not perfect and I think that's standard for a lot of manufacturers but the delay was like it was painful so I delayed my shop update for two weeks until these washi tapes arrived and they arrived yesterday which means I can photograph them today but um yeah this is my third time ordering from Vio Grace and this time was like I'm not gonna go into it my my patrons know like the excruciating detail of how much I had to follow up in order to get any sort of updates but anyway washi tapes are here I'm going to photograph them today I also wanted to update you on what else has been happening but I can't remember right now Oh yeah, I was just going to tell you about my day. So this morning I made the new thank you cards because I had run out of the other one and I just, I wasn't sold on the design and I've been wanting to update them for a while. I love the back of them, that vintage kind of frame and that's where I'll write the thank you message. So I really do like the back of them, but the front of them still feels a bit plain. I wanted to do just a simple quote because I thought it'd be nice for people to put into their journals. So I think I'll keep the back the same, but I, I might change the front with the next batch that I do. So I only made 16, I think, for this, just one A3 page. So my, I made that this morning. I ordered some business cards from Vista Print. I normally make the business cards myself on watercolor paper, but um, it <laughs> takes a really long time to make for the markets. And like last time I made 200 to 300 and they were all gone at Mellow Market. So 
I just ordered 500 through Vistaprint and that will save me so much time. The quality will probably be better as well. And I also worked on some postcards, like well one postcard and a mini print design that I also ordered through Vistaprint so I could get the free shipping. So um, that's what I did most of the morning, working on the thank you card and the postcard design. Today, again, I'm gonna take the product photos and then afterwards I'm going to edit it. And this phone is resting on my to-do list right now. But then my only priority for the rest of the day is to work on the gallery piece for Mellow Market, the upcoming gallery. So there's going to be a gallery exhibition at the market and I'm doing a very simple like photo print message anyway it's it's kind of complicated to explain but i guess once i finish it i can actually show you but if i have time today too i would like to work on the sticker club because my goal is to finish it by saturday and also i filmed that uh unplanned podcast interview with tiffany from faded chronicle on monday and so i need to edit that as well there's just <laughs> there's so much to do there's so much going on right now that i'm trying to figure out how to prioritize everything but I just wanted to check in and say that I have had my life archives next to me. Like I've been wanting to update this for over a week now, but yeah, I've, I've been good. I've been prioritizing work, but I would really like to update that soon. Maybe if I'm good, I'm, I'm on schedule today, then I will update that. But while the sun is out, I'm going to, I think this is dry enough. <laughs> I'm going to take some product photos. Yes, my hands are dry, but I can't moisturize them because I don't want that transferring to the sticker sheets. When I'm handling things, I tend to avoid the moisturizer until afterwards, but I am an avid, very passionate moisturizer. My hands are always moisturized, so it's, it's kind of killing me right now, especially since I also um, use the nail polish remover, so it's like extra dry, but I've got a list of products that I need to photograph that I wrote on memo pad. So I'm just gonna go off this list and pretty much just tick it when I am done. Um, I, I've just remembered I forgot to do one of the products, which is washi samplers. So I need to make a sampler card for these washi, but I think it's going to take a while. So I might do that tomorrow <laughs> and photograph tomorrow, which is not ideal, but um, I don't want to lose this light. So, okay, let's get photographing. <laughs>
Thank you.